for New York Fashion Week and having their eyes on all the designers, I'm sure some of you are wondering what will be the fall makeup trends. Now, we all know that the summer makeup trends were really brightly colored lips, a lot of magentas, oranges, colors that you don't usually see um, as popular colors. However, the fall is going to be a little bit different, and you're going to see a lot of pink natural lips. You're going to see a lot of lips that are about one to two shades darker than someone's natural lip color, and you're also going to see a lot of semi-glosses, so not a high gloss, not quite a matte, but somewhere in between there. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, there doesn't seem to be much in between that natural kind of color and what is also going to be popular, which is the dark red with a semi-gloss or a high gloss. That was also really popular um, when I was going through the fall makeup trends. Now, what I did to kind of figure out what would be popular or what's going to be popular is to look at the September issues of popular fashion magazines. Now obviously, if you look at a Vogue, that's going to be more high fashion, but if you're like me and you're reading magazines like Glamour and you're more of the everyday girl, um, this is kind of going to tell you what is going to be popular amongst people you're going to see out on the street. Now, Vogue, you might see more of those looks on celebrities and, you know, fashion people. Let's start off with what I call the Kate Middleton effect, or alternatively, if you prefer to be patriotic, the Kim Kardashian effect. And this look is an eyeliner look, obviously. I have it on today, and this is the Kate Middleton effect, so you're going to see a lot of eyeliner with kind of a more naked eyeshadow look. So yes, you, I believe we will be seeing a lot of that, and that is the Kim Kardashian effect, although she does more of like a smoky eye and an eyeliner. It's a little bit more dramatic than Kate Middleton. Also, speaking of smoky eyes, I saw a lot of what I would call alternative smoky eyes. So instead of having the smokiness go up here and into your brow bone, it went out. And I saw a lot of looks that looked almost rectangular, um, so not so much U-shaped if that makes sense. So I believe that's also going to be popular. Moving on to lip trends, you're going to see a lot of women wearing natural colors, which is always popular because, you know, most people if you're on the run, you're probably not thinking, oh, I want like a dark red. You're probably thinking you want something more like this. So this is a really natural lip color and it has like a semi-gloss, so it's not really high gloss. It's not really lip gloss. It just kind of gives your lips more dimension. So it's not a high gloss, so it's not going to draw all the attention, but it's just going to give it a really, really nice look. To go with the fall trends for my lips, I mixed Max Angel as a base and then put NYX's Pure Nude, and I love doing this. I'm kind of addicted to it now. So it looks like you can tell that I'm wearing lipstick, but it doesn't look like, oh, she's wearing lipstick. It just kind of looks really natural and pink, which I really like. The other trend is to do a natural lip, and I do not mean a nude lip. I mean a lipstick that looks like you're not wearing lipstick, but you are, or a gloss. And that's kind of like what Cameron Diaz is wearing in this photo. Again, with the semi-gloss and a more natural lip color. Dark red is sort of always popular because it's like the opposite of natural. So, but the thing is for fall 2011, there's not really much in between. It's either like all or nothing. So that would be like what Rihanna's wearing in this photo shoot. You can see just like a really, really dark red. Also, I saw this a little bit like a pinky, like almost like the, the colors that were popular for the summer, but a fall version of it, which is more of like a darker pink, not so brightly colored, but still in that vein. And there's also going to be popular red pinks. So this is kind of a more downplayed dark red lip and not close to a natural lip. So that would be more like this. So yeah, things to look out for, just to recap, we're going to see a lot of natural lips, a lot of pinky natural lips, which I mean it doesn't look like they're not wearing anything on their lips, it's going to look like a little bit of color. We're also going to see a lot of pink reds, that's an alternative to the dark red. And with dark red, we're going to be seeing a lot of high gloss. But overall, if you want to go with the trends, I say you should try out Get yourself some black eyeliner, get yourself some natural colored lipstick or lip gloss, and also try take a risk and try that dark red and see if you like it. 
So, um, let me know in the comment section or by commenting on thosegraces.com if you're going to be wearing any of these trends, what trends will you be wearing, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.